DLC and how badly it's just gotten out of control. I'm Greg, I may or may not be wearing pants, and this is Stuff That Sucks. So, I remember vividly in my mind the exact moment that I saw DLC kind of getting out of control. It was in Batman Arkham City. I'd beaten the game with my expectations that I would unlock certain costumes that I kept seeing advertised at GameStop and Best Buy for pre-ordering the thing. I think you got like a Batman Beyond costume if you pre-ordered the game. I was like, well, I can't wait to see what other costumes that come out. I beat the game, and I think the only costume I unlocked was a slight variation on the one I currently had. I think it was going to be the armored Batman suit. I could have paid at the time, I think it was $10 for the costume pack, but I was kind of let down. I had been raised in a mentality of when you beat a game, you unlock all these d bonus features at the end of it. And it was disappointing. And now in 2015, this whole concept of DLC getting rather ridiculous. Take Evolve for example, that's pretty recent. Look at all the DLC they have in this thing. Gun skins, skins for the monster, skin packs, and to be honest, it's all crap. These skins on the aliens are just color swaps and they're very disappointing. They're not detailed, it's not a new model of the monster, it's just a nice hue change on the back of his back or a nice color change on his skin. It took two seconds to do. Evolve's not the most recent culprit to do this. Activision is just as guilty. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Extra slots for $1.99 to hold more inventory items. Come more, more color swaps and jetpack customization. All for like the low, low price of $1.99 here, $3.99 here, $5.99 here. It was a AAA game at $59.99. This kind of shit is inexcusable. Are we playing a free-to-play game, or are we playing a game we paid $60 for? EA is just as guilty as well. At a cost to enter the game, you still have a chance to buy in-game currency to speed up your progression in-game. I paid to access the game. This stuff shouldn't be in our games. The amount of grinding and gaining material to unlock things should be at a decent pace. I don't expect to unlock everything in an hour. If you're gonna design a game, to be free to play, do it. Hearthstone's a great example. It's free. Yeah, the grinding is unnecessarily long and it's really hard to get gold to buy in-game packs, but you don't have to grind and it's free, so there's really no complaining. When you pay $60 or $30 or $40, whatever, to play a game, I don't expect the artificial grind to be lengthened out to encourage you to spend in-game cash. The concept of DLC was great at first, Having the opportunity to expand on a game after it's come out? What's not to love, right? And now it's just gotten completely out of hand. You would only see like color swaps and shit for $1.99 on free to play games like Killer Instinct, League of Legends. Now you're seeing it in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare evolve. What has happened to this practice? I can tell you firsthand via all the DLC that I've bought in over the last 10 years. I've bought in the Borderlands 2 Season Pass, Bioshock Infinite Season Pass, Dragon Age Origins Shale DLC, and the Dragon Age Origins Awakening DLC. What else did I buy? I bought all of the Mario Kart 8 DLC, including the Link Triforce Cup one and the other one that's coming out sometime in March. I bought all of the Fallout 3 DLC, and I also bought all of the Skyrim DLC. Do you guys see a pattern here? I'm buying games that actually have a whole heart lot of content to their, to their DLC. Spending $2 and then claiming it's DLC is bullshit. Everyone needs to stop this practice. It's really, it's really piss poor. If you're gonna make DLC, it better be damn worthwhile DLC and not shitty gun swaps and color palette swaps and skin swaps. And you know what? If they are skin swaps, that's fine. But have it look like someone actually took the time to design a unique, interesting skin that expresses how you play. Anyway guys, DLC in general is starting to get out of control and it really sucks. The only thing I can say for this to stop happening is stop buying the DLC. Stop paying $1.99 to unlock slots on Modern Warfare. Stop paying 99 cents to get 5,000 coins in Plants vs. Zombies. If you stop buying it, the companies will be forced to stop doing it. And apparently people do, people do it. If you're gonna have that kind of DLC in your game, I expect the game to be free to play like League of Legends. Anyway, you guys, really sucks. Thanks for watching. For everything DLC related, you're already in the right place. You're on shacknews.com.
downloadable content. Er, er, er.